Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Now, but what do you need a semi automatic weapon for. The only reason I think you need it is, Pierce, challenge Alex Jones to a boxing match, show up with a semi-automatic that you got <laughs> legally, and pop him. I'd love to see that. <laughs> In uniform. <laughs> Look at these little globalist pimps, these preening, sycophantic nobodies who haven't had an audience worth mentioning in years. imploding, sinking into the bygone swamp like so many other extinct creatures that have been upon the face of this globe. They are not liberals and they are not the future. They are the opposite of Renaissance. They are the plague. And Piers Morgan, ladies and gentlemen, for all intents and purposes, has not had a show in about a year. When Larry King left, it had about a million and a half to two million viewers a night in the U.S., Piers Morgan some nights had 350,000 viewers. That was on a low end, high end, half a mil. When I was on his show, he had 2 million viewers that night, 2.5 million the next night, 2 million the next night, a million and a half the next night, a million, a million, and then down to 500,000. What you saw him getting a ratings boost for a week or so was an explosion. An explosion like when a car blows up. In, the, in, in a military uh, operation, when a truck's coming down the road and a 50 cal with tracers opens up on its engine and hits the fuel tanks and the truck blows up, it's not winning when it blows up, throwing troops out of the back on fire and engine parts flying into the driver's face, killing them. It's exploding. It's burning. You can also liken it to a dead cat bounce. Here's Morgan fell and then he bounced. And they've got all these sniveling establishment media articles going, a lot of people want to take credit for taking him down. Uh, chief amongst them, Alex Jones. Well, there are hundreds of articles out today. I, I went and looked at some of them. Hundreds of them listed saying that I am the main culprit, which I'm proud of. But listen, I don't want to take credit where credit isn't due. I am not responsible for the decline and fall of Piers Morgan, who never even rose. Mainstream dinosaur media is dying. And that's why Piers Morgan has no audience and none of their shows have any audience. And they're not going to have any audience. I don't care how many movie stars they parade on there. People want Veritas. They want Genuine. They want the Bonafides. They want reality. They want the kings of reality, folks. And that's what we are. The king of reality. I am not the king of conspiracy theory. I am the king of reality. As I have said on the BBC and ABC News, you name it. You want to call me the king of something, I'm the king of trying to be truthful. I'm the king of wearing my heart on my sleeve. I'm the king of telling it like it is. And, I mean, I, listen, I at least have 3 million viewers and listeners a day. That's a conservative number. 3 million. InfoWars gets about a million visitors a day. Prison Planet, about 300,000. Uh, our Facebooks combined have 3 million people on it, millions a day, see that. Quarter million on Twitter, I came to Twitter late. I'm not on some power trip. I'm not up here bragging how big I am, but these guys, it's all a vanity fair like the Emperor's New Clothes. You guys print me a synopsis of the Emperor's New Clothes, I want to cover that when I come back. It's the hoax that is dinosaur media. They're already dead, but the final domino to drop is the general public still goes, ooh, I saw you on Piers Morgan, or I saw you on Nightline, or, and I go, did you really see me on Nightline? Well, no, I was watching an ABC show and saw a promo for it. That's right, you don't really watch Nightline. They have, it has like a million viewers now. You used to have like 10 million. You didn't really watch me on Piers Morgan, did you? No, I saw you on Jay Leno when they played a clip, or Conan, or all those shows. It was only big because there was real challenge, real controversy, real debate. I didn't play along with the script of debating his phony talking points. I came in and said, shut up, enemy. You want to enslave us. You're on notice, scum. You red coat bastard.
and people loved it. At first, they said it was a great defeat for me. Whenever you have a big win, they say you're defeated. Remember that. We'll, we'll be back. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com the globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Let's make this a year of action. That's what most Americans want. Raising the debt ceiling does not increase our debt. Nobody is listening to your telephone calls. The debate is settled. Climate change is a fact. And if people can't trust not only the executive branch, but also don't trust Congress and don't trust federal judges, then we're going to have some problems. What difference at this point does it make? Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a cult. I mean, a government worshiping group. The truth is, though, almost no one is buying into the system now, and the approval rating of the establishment is plunging. And we're at that Rubicon crossroads right now where the dinosaur mainstream state-run media, offshore banker-run media, George Soros-controlled media is teetering on the edge of total collapse. It's been collapsing for a long time, but now the public knows it's sinking beneath the waves, and uh, the average show on MSNBC or CNN has less viewers than a weekday radio show or a morning radio show in a major city. I happen to you know, get the ratings and see the ratings from different cities we're on the radio uh, in. And I can look at morning shows, say in Austin, Texas, that have upwards of 80 to 100,000 people listening every 15 minutes. 
tuning in and out. And over a three-hour period could have 200, 300,000 listeners. Piers Morgan on a bad night had 350,000. On a good night had half a million. So this is nationwide, worldwide, less than half a million viewers. This is literally a hoax. This is literally a fraud. And it's turned out that CNN, MSNBC have been caught. In fact, guys, print this in rigged ratings with Nielsen on cable. Just type in Nielsen caught faking cable ratings to try to beat Fox a few years ago. Fox actually does have three or four million viewers on average. Still not that big of a deal. But that's like Mount Everest compared to a hill uh, in ratings when you talk about MSNBC or something like CNN. And by the way, Dylan Radigan on MSNBC had the highest ratings on the channel because he would attack both parties and talk about a foreign banking takeover and how we're being looted and yell and scream. And it wasn't fake. He was, he was allowing himself to get angry, but it was real, real passion. And so they didn't renew his contract because he had high ratings. And it's the same thing with what I'd call more of a real liberal, somebody like Donahue, who had 4 million viewers when they axed him in MSNBC a night. Same thing with Ventura. Ventura had almost 4 million viewers, number two show on MSNBC. Uh, and, but he wasn't partisan. He was really libertarian. So they gave him golden handcuffs and paid him off $3.5 million a year of his four-year contract. And they came to him and they said, stop bashing the Democrats and stop bashing the Republicans and stop bashing the war because the war was getting started then. And he wouldn't shut up. So they said, fine, we're going to pay your contract out, but you can't do media for the rest of the four years of your contract. That's how this works, ladies and gentlemen. And again, I don't want to be on CNN. If I was offered the CNN Piers Morgan slot, I would only do it because it would be a giant stunt when I wouldn't compromise and would get huge ratings. I, I'm telling you, I would have 15 million viewers guaranteed a night, huge phenomenon within two months. The first night I premiered, I would have 2 million. I bet my life on it. And, and the executives at CNN, Time Warner, Comcast, you know, they know that. They all know that. They all understand that. They know what sells. I've met with the heads of BBC, True TV, um, Travel Channel, A&E, History Channel, Discovery Channel, and they point blank go, oh, no, we know. This is like six, seven years ago that gun shows would take over. They finally bit on it, limited, not with me, and notice their big hits. They go, we know redneck stuff is popular in their words. We know pro-Christian stuff is popular. And I told all these executives this 10 years ago. I told all these executives this seven years ago, five years ago, three years ago. And look at the Bible on cable, 15 million viewers. Their other hit show, 2 million. A hit show is 2 million on cable. Uh, look at Duck Dynasty, 10, 15, 20 million viewers a show on A&E, whose other hit shows have a million. And by the way, I was pitched on A&E four years ago. And went, I used to go to L.A. all the time and have these worthless meetings in New York. And they're like, we want you to run around with hillbillies hunting and chew tobacco and, and, you know, basically act like a fool. And I said, I'm not doing it. The point is, is that, is that they need us. We don't need them, ladies and gentlemen. Sci-Fi Channel pitched me a show every night live that would be in the studios here, but they would come and have me do it in a studio in Austin. And then I would have all these guests on. The problem is I'd have to do Chupacabras, Bigfoot, Space Aliens, and then I could do what I wanted in between that that would just discredit it. And I'm not knocking my buddy Joe Rogan. He basically got that show and went and did it. And, and, and good for Joe. I mean, it was like, but I see these shows. Like I was, I was offered by Court TV that became True TV. It was going to be called American Conspiracy. That's what Ventura called his book. And then they went and pitched it four years later to Ventura, and Ventura did it. But a guy from the BBC, an American programmer from the BBC, there's even a trailer out there for it that we released called American Conspiracy. He said, I'll go ahead and release it on YouTube. If that guy's YouTube, that's like a minute long. It's called American Conspiracy with Alex Jones. Four years before Ventura's show, Conspiracy Theory, which was going to be called American Conspiracy. And with Ventura, they at least allowed enough real topics that I was part of the show and was happy to be part of it.
And I'm not up here bragging. I'm telling you how media works and giving you inside.